Hi everybody, my name is Vanita and I'm here to take you through a little bit of a guided sound journey with a little bit of relaxation and meditation. And I know that I might be a little dark to see, but I really wanted you to see this landscape around me. It has been snowing like crazy and the sun is finally out. It's gorgeous. Those mountains that you see in the back were completely covered just a few minutes ago with this intense snowfall. We've been in this incredible little house out in the mountains and I really just wanted to share the beautiful energy of these trees and these mountains with you. They've been speaking very loud and there's been a lot of goddess energy with me here and I wanted to share some of that with you. I don't know if you felt that intense full moon last night. What a beautiful portal. We couldn't see it because it was complete cloud cover, but it was so beautiful. Um, as I sat in meditation last night, I found myself having some feelings coming up and um, memories of things in my past that were dealing with fear and some of it wasn't even my own fear some of it was other people's fears some stories they had told me and i was like i don't want to think about this and i tried to push it away and then i was like why am i pushing it away this moon in general i mean we shouldn't be pushing those things away they're coming to us as an opportunity for us to ask ourselves questions and explore but what I found myself doing was running away from it because I didn't want to go there. I was thinking that, oh, I should be thinking other thoughts, happy thoughts. But what the full moon did for me last night was reminded me that that was a Leo moon. It was all about the heart. And Leo is that brave, courageous expression of that heart, that heart center. I'm sorry if I'm super dark. I'm trying to see myself and it's hard, but at least I can see this beautiful mountain behind me. But in that beautiful, courageous heart, it required me to just sit with those feelings and ask myself those questions. Why am I thinking about these things? What am I fearing? What aspect of my heart is closed due to fear? And how can I open that up? And as I sat there in that meditation last night, I suddenly was taken through loopholes and wormholes through time and space. And it didn't really matter where I went. Like I had, I, I came out into this area when I took this wormhole, I was in this area was bright light and there was all these avenues for me to take. And I realized that these were avenues for um, understanding what I wanted to to understand, to learn more about the questions that I'd asked, what was holding me back? Why had I um, closed my heart? And I didn't, I realized that it didn't matter which avenue I took, which new tunnel I took, that it would give me an answer. So I took one and I saw myself as a woman. I, I was um, like really pale skinned, um, red hair. I was in Ireland. Now I've been reading a lot um, lately, this Mary Magdalene revealed. I've been really reading a lot about Mary Magdalene, but this book, um, you know, there's several instances in there where she tells stories of women who have been burned at the stake for, you know, speaking their truth and holding their love in their heart. Now for them, it was the love of Christ and for me, there was a love that I was being burned for and I was trying to understand. And as I stepped back in further and further into that timeline, I realized that I had, I was being um, killed for basically expressing a love that was not supposed to exist um, according to them. And as a result, I was feeling that that was why I had closed myself up in that lifetime in my heart, because I felt like if this is where love brought me, then why am I opening up my heart? And it was a pretty profound release as I sat with that, as I sat with this vision. And, you know, and this is what I think a lot of us have in our past lives, where we have desired to express our truth or express our love and really just been vilified for it, denied, killed, crucified. Uh, you know, this is an age old story and not, I'm not alone in it. 
but it was that Leo moon, that Leo full moon that reminded me how important it is to go into the heart and to release these stories. I woke up feeling lighter and brighter. And what's interesting is that my morning was very hard. I ended up in a, you know, just a argument with my daughter who was having a hard time with me for her own reasons and dealing with her own things. And it was really interesting to remind myself to remain open in my heart, to really keep that heart open and not to close it because when I was wanting to close it, what I saw was that three-year-old inner child in me who was being triggered and scared and she wanted to close my heart. We have so many parts of ourselves, whether it be past lives or our inner children from this life or you know, certain hurts and traumas. And there are so many things that can really cause us to close our hearts. And no matter what's going on in the world, it's really important that we maintain an open heart and we be the way showers and we show what it means to take this energy in, to understand it, to be human, to feel it and to transform it and alchemize it. Well, I was trying to draw a card from this Work Your Light Oracle deck, but no card wants to jump out. So I am going to pull a card. I'm gonna use my left hand here. Let's see that one. Deep replenishment. I don't know if you can see that. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. So this is a message that has been coming up quite a bit for me. And I think for the collective, this is what the month of January was about. So deep replenishment, you know, rest is something that we don't give ourselves enough. We're constantly in a state of things that we feel like we need to do, that we need to be, that we are not achieving. And sometimes what we don't allow ourselves is that opportunity to take a break, to allow ourselves to rest and restore. And when we do, we give ourselves that really, that energy that's needed to move forward. And that's where I was able to do that deep heart work last night, because I have been taking this week to say, you know what, I do have work to do, but I also have rest to do. And look at this landscape, look at where I am. I can go be and hug a tree. I can stay in bed and just take an extra hour to myself. And in that, I have been allowing myself that space to deal with the emotions that have been coming up, whether they be with my family, whether they be within my heart. And that's what today is about. I'm gonna be giving you, you know, a sound bath with these sound bowls. And so it is about deep replenishment. So let's see what, see what Rebecca Campbell has to say. The most selfless thing you can do, <clears throat> excuse me, the most selfless thing you can do is to fill up your own inner well. When we are running around half filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us the nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You're no good to anyone if you're running on empty. The feminine is bountiful, fertile, and rich. Tend to your own well as you watch the amount you have to give in multiples. So tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. So that's what I find is the most amazing thing. If you give yourself a 10 minute nap in the day, isn't it amazing how much energy you end up with? It's not just a little bit, it's a lot. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. How often do you unconsciously snack or reach for something that you regret when all you needed was a little bit of rest? This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. Grounding and nurturing. What nourishes you? What refuels your body? What is nectar for your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile? overspilling with life. It may be gardening, arranging flowers, getting a massage, using luxurious essential oils, snuggling up on the couch, hiking, sipping a good coffee at your favorite cafe, attending a women's circle, reading about sacred sites, spontaneous bike rides, walking along a beach, or yin yoga. 
What nourishes you is your medicine. When you give yourself the medicine you need to be nourished, you nourish all those around you for there is more than enough to go around. Do something that deeply nourishes you and replenishes you today. So for me, sometimes that is providing some nourishment and relaxation for others. And later I am going to be going outside to play in the snow and visit my trees and say hello to them. So right now, why don't we start by just let's just take this energy of the day of wherever you are in this moment of now off of you. I just had this intense moment of deja vu, which to me tells me that I'm meeting my future self in the moment of now, and it allows me to feel aligned. And I hope you feel that alignment and that comes with deep rest and replenishment. Now we carry energy on our body everywhere. So, you know, if you wanna wipe it off with your hand, if you have a smudge fan, if you have a feather, however you want, just wipe that energy away and clear yourself. And now take a deep breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> if you have some place that's comfortable to lie down, that'll be wonderful because we're going to be doing a little bit of a relaxation, just a little bit of breath work and allow you to just sink into the sound of these bowls. So allow yourself to get comfortable feeling yourself being held by this earth laying down is a wonderful way to experience it because then we allow our body to rest when we feel held by the earth then we know we are safe everything that we are is made by mother earth and when we allow ourselves to hold be held by her then we have more to give to those that we love. All right, when you're comfortable, let's take another deep breath in. And we're going to do this from taking the breath in all the way from the bottom of our toes. Take a deep breath, filling the belly, filling the lungs sending that energy all the way up to your third eye. Now I want you to squeeze your root lock, your, your abdominal muscles, so you're squeezing your sex organs, squeezing where you go to the bathroom, squeezing, squeezing, sending that energy up, up, up into your third eye. Keep holding five, four, three, two, one, and now release, exhale. <sighs> Allow your body to sink deeper into the earth. Feel yourself being held. And now we're going to take another deep breath in, doing that same breath again. Take a deep breath in. it at the top, squeezing your root lock, your abdominal muscles, sending that energy to your third eye. Hold, hold, hold. Squeezing, just seeing that third eye open as you send this energy up and now release. Allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper. Imagine Mother Earth just wrapping her arms around you, holding you in this deep, unconditional love. No matter what we do, no matter where we are, she is always taking everything that we give her and transforming it into something that we can use. All right, let's take another deep breath in. Pulling it in, filling 
feeling your your belly, filling your lungs, squeezing your sex organs, squeezing your abdominal muscles, squeezing it all, sending that energy up to the third eye. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And now release. <sighs> And now imagine imagine a cord growing out from the bottom of your feet down into Mother Earth. Feel that cord growing through her soil and down into her crystalline core. This core of Mother Earth that holds all of our memories, all of our ancestral information, all the wisdoms of past lifetimes here on Earth, from the Atlanteans and the Lemurians to the Neanderthals to all of it, all of it is the earth collective conscious. Allow these cords to wrap around, filling you with this life force energy and vision that allows us all to keep living an abundant life here on earth. rest there. 
you are now connected to heaven and earth. You are the conduit for this information and this energy. You are a transmitter of all of this information that really is given to us from above and below. And how we alchemize it within our hearts, how we express it is who we are. to receive this love and this support and know that when you allow yourself to rest and you're deeply nourished that you have more love to give that you are able to express your authentic and true self so go deep into your heart yourself to feel the space within your heart. What is your heart telling you? What kind of nourishment is it seeking? How can you be more deeply rested and relaxed? to yourself so that you have more to give.
Eschew complicated explanations as you seek the simplicity of the deepest truth of your heart. Gently but firmly cast aside that which does not resonate as being true for your heart. Focus upon and speak from a higher spiritual perspective. All prayers are answered at the perfect time and in the perfect way. You have a powerful voice, one which can foster healing and wisdom on our planet. Allow yourself to gently return to your body. Taking a deep breath in and sighing it out. <sighs> when you feel ready, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms overhead. Allow you feel yourself in your body again. You can rub your hands. Place them over your heart center. And I'm going to close out this practice with some gratitude. I'm gratitude Gratitude for this moment of now. I am grateful for all of the guides of the highest vibration of unconditional love and light that were present with us through this journey and are always present with us in every moment of our life. I'm grateful for the guidance and the assistance that they give us. I'm grateful for our bodies that know how to repair themselves, that know how to heal. And I'm grateful for the ability for deep replenishment and nourishment, that which I can give my body and that each of us can give our bodies so that they can continue to do this miraculous job of living and breathing and being just this amazing human being. Help us to continue to take the sense of deep replenishment and rest with us so that we may continue to fuel our bodies, so that we may continue to be of service to ourselves and to others. Let us listen to our heart and know that in every moment of now, the answers reside within us and we always know the right thing to do. That there are no right or wrong choices. There are only our reactions and that everything that happens in our life is there to teach us and there to give us messages, allow us to receive with an open heart. I am grateful for each and every one of you, whether you be here on this replay, in another dimension, wherever you are in the world, for giving yourself this time, this time to heal. We all need healing. The more that we heal, the more that we transform ourselves and we become the living embodiment of that change we seek in the world around us. Let us carry this light into the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho. Hmm. And when you feel ready, you can open up your eyes. It's even brighter here today where I am. It's so beautiful. I'm sorry you can't see me, but you can see this wonderful landscape behind me. And you can see these wonderful crystals that are here with me that supported us in this journey. The crystal of the alchemy bowls that I played. I hope you can carry this energy out into the world. I am running in 
ceremony on Imbolic, which is on February 1st. It actually is celebrated February 1st, February 2nd. It's a pagan holiday celebrating Brigid. Brigid was canonized and sainted by Christianity because they couldn't remove her roots um, from Christian, you know, from Ireland. And the Druids and the Celts were heavily um, worshiping Bridget, and so they made her into a saint, and I believe it's St. Bridget's Day um, in Christianity, but it's symbolic. And uh, Bridget is this wonderful goddess who I will talk more about, but she is the triple moon goddess. I don't know if you can see my tattoo, probably not, but it's the, the symbol of the <clears throat> waxing, the full moon and the waning moon. And um, it represents, you know, the mother, the maiden, the crone, the, uh, you know, different aspects. We always look at the Trinity and it's the different aspects of the Trinity. And, um, you know, we'll talk more about it. But this is a wonderful time to really become heart-centered. That's what this ceremony is all about. Mary Magdalene and Bridget will be there with Kuan Yin. And it's all about being in our heart this was just a really quick impromptu uh, little ceremony here and if you join me on february 1st it will be a very deep heart-centered practice where we will move our bodies we'll breathe into our hearts we will do exercises that will take us into our heart the more we expand our hearts the better we are service to ourselves each other and this world so i hope you'll enjoy me for this ceremony it'll help to continue to reduce the stress and anxiety in our life and to accept all that is around us. We're really blessed to, you know, live a fulfilling and abundant life no matter what we have. We have each other. And if you're watching this video, I know that you do already have so much to be grateful for. There are so many people who are living in fear right now and don't know how to find that peace within them. And so the more that we can be at peace with ourselves, the more we can be of service to these people who need us the most. So I thank you. I thank you so much for joining me. And I encourage you to continue to give yourself that deep relaxation and rest as this card had shown us, deep replenishment. There is nothing you need to be, nowhere you need to go, nothing you need to do. You just need to be in the present moment in your body. So take this moment and appreciate your body. Thank your body for all that it is and all that it does. And if you feel called, Join me for the symbolic ceremony on February 1st, Monday, February 1st. It's around the corner. The link is going to be um, either associated with this video, depending on how this is put on what platform, but you will find the link there. All right. Thank you. Bye.